I want to welcome you to this special prayer service, a prayer for congregational healing. But there's so much need in our world right now, need for healing and need for hope. As we look around, as new seasons begin, as old problems linger, we ask you to just bring yourself wherever you are, whatever you need to offer it up to God, to submit to God's love and grace, and that through prayer and supplication, we may find the solace that we need in the arms of our Savior. Let us begin. Come, Lord Jesus, you too were tired. When day was done, you met your friends at evening time. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, you too enjoyed when nights drew on. You told your tales at the close of day. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, you kindled faith when lamps were low. You opened scriptures, broke the bread, and shed your light as darkness fell. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus meet, meet us, us here. here. Let us pray. You have drawn us together this day from a variety of backgrounds, experiences, hopes, and dreams. Lord, be with us as together we experience your presence and your healing love. Open our hearts and our spirits to receive strength, encouragement, and peace. For we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Gracious God, as darkness draws this day to a close, may we remember with gratitude your gifts and your presence, signs of your blessing. Divine healer, touch our memories so that we may see your holy work in our lives and in the world easing of pain, the healing of memories, the recovery from wounds, with songs of praise or quiet thanks. May we praise you.
Loving God, with the light of Christ as our guide, take us through this day and help us to see the sins of which we are ashamed. Holy and compassionate God, reconcile, renew, and restore us by your grace, that we may rest in peace. Amen. By the mercy of God, we are united with Jesus Christ, and in Christ we are forgiven and made whole. We rest now in God's love and rise in the morning to serve our Creator. Please join in reading Psalm 103 responsibly. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always accuse, nor will he keep his anger forever. For he does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we are made. He remembers that we are dust. As for mortals, their days are like grass. They flourish like a flower of the field. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his commandment and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O you, his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, obedient to his spoken word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Oh, 
Let us pray. Merciful Lord God, constant source of all healing, we give you thanks for all your gifts of strength and life. And above all, we thank you for the gift of your Son, through whom we have health and salvation. As we wait for that day when there will be no more pain, help us by your Holy Spirit to be assured of your power in our lives and to trust in your eternal love. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now, may God bless us in our sleep and in our rest, in our dreams with vision, in our waking with a calm mind, in our soul, with the friendship of the Holy Spirit this night and every night. Amen.